another week, another week. I haven't filmed this uh, vlog until Friday. And uh, that's because it's been another odd week. Um, I've not been particularly well this week. I've got an ongoing condition with my stomach that, you know, I mean, some things have been ruled out, others not so much, but then who knows what, what any of this could mean. I sold the CRV last weekend. Um, I didn't get what I wanted and I did sell it to those people that had annoyed me with the tow, tow bar scenario. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't be sat where I am now um, if, if the CRV hadn't sold and it sold and it was a great bit of kit and I enjoyed it a lot. It just wasn't quite me. And what I've got now definitely is a little bit more me. Um, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been a weird week. So the Accord, which was working perfectly well, um, you know, the, the coilovers, which again, this will be out before that video, but you know, the yellow speed racing coilovers, I've got it, the Dynamic Pros, the hard race rear camber arms are on, new drive shafts. The car was handling superbly. And for the first half of this week, I was uh, dailying it. Uh, I did a lot of miles. I did about 500 miles in the first three days of the uh, of the week. And what became apparent <laughs> was uh, I've got cooling issues. Now, a new radiator went in there uh, in autumn. In the autumn, new radiator, a new thermostat, a new Misimoto like 80 degree fan sensor that all went in there excellent that wasn't an issue until it now is an issue so the car is performing fine the judder and shake have gone but <laughs> the fans aren't coming on so when the car's moving and moving at a good speed it's staying between sort of 82 to 86 depending on how i'm pushing the car it's staying at that sort of temperature which is great as soon as I'm in slow moving traffic or stopped and idling, um, it goes right up to over 100. And so you get out of the car, because you know before the fans would come on at about 90 degrees, 91. Now they're not coming on at all and the car's got up to like 107 degrees in traffic. So I'm a little bit like, ugh. So what I've done, I've gone and bought some fuses. So I'm gonna swap the fuses out and hope that that is the only problem because I highly doubt a Mishimoto, which, you know, they're a great brand. Uh, you know, the fan sensor, I highly doubt that's gone wrong. But I also did have a leak um, coming, well, I say a leak, I had water pooling all over the top of the uh, the radiator. So, you know, I traced the leak back, I, you know, opened the bonnet and went, right, there's loads of dry coolant on top of the radiator. What's going on? It's a new radiator. The car's still cooling down. There's no issues with power. So. It can't be a faulty radiator. Um, and it seemed that every time I was checking it, it was too late, the coolant had already dried, I couldn't see where it was coming from. Then I had a, a stroke of luck and I, I kind of, uh, you know, the, I opened the bonnet immediately and found that there was coolant that looked like it was coming from the radiator cap. So I swapped out the radiator cap. I've got a hybrid racing 1.3 bar radiator cap on it now and it seems to have stopped any issues with coolant which is great so it is just the fans um you know it's bhp next week and i i kind of wanted well i want the accord to perform really well um you know on the way there have a bit of fun driving and also being stuck you know in a, a slow moving line of cars i can't take the accord if it's going to overheat because it's going to be boiling it's boiling today i'm melting as i'm talking to you so yeah it, it's it's been a strange one like some really good things like the car i'm sat in which is going to be pretty obvious and i'm not going to be able to keep the cat in the bag because i'm just going to have to put photos of it up on instagram but um the car i'm sat in uh is awesome and i went and picked this up yesterday which would have been thursday i went up to uh just outside leicester um with my father big stevie p he, uh, he drove me up in his diesel Mondeo with the, you know, the ST151, so basically a diesel Mondeo with a body kit. Um, and um, I, I picked this up and 
what a buy this is. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you can't tell from the interior, um, then you know you just have to wait and see. But I'm blown away. I'm really happy with this. Um, it's just a shame that I haven't really been able to do much with it. I, you know, I've just driven to the uh, to the supermarket because I need to pick up some bits. But I've not been very very good this week. Um, you know, since since Tuesday basically, I've been struggling. Been struggling a bit. Um, let's hope I feel better over the weekend and then next week everything will be fine. <laughs> let's hope so. But yeah, positives. New car, which I love, I've fallen in love with. The Accord, handling brilliantly. I haven't got the horrible shake. However, I do have cooling issues, but that should be sorted. Let's, let's fingers crossed, let's hope. Um, the weather, the weather's nice. It's just very hot. And to, right now it's very humid. So there's been a lot of really good things this week and a couple of uh, things. So, you know, I've just got to look on the bright side basically, haven't I? Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's just life, isn't it really? I mean, you know, um, when, when everything's going smoothly, something's bound to go wrong and uh, <laughs> everything was going okay, apart from my health, and then the Accord's not cooling down and uh, never mind, never mind at all.